Well, we got the 2015 GLK 250 diesel Mercedes up on our ramps. Got my tools laid out. And uh, we're going to go underneath and remove the sensor. One of the things I noticed, there's a sensor on this side and on this side. And there's our tool that is installed. This thing's pretty slick, by the way, I have to show you. So this side, this side's cut out. Slip it on the wire and then it just scoots right up tight to the sensor. And you put your breaker bar on uh, that 3 8 breaker bar and then you just pull down. Now I tried to do this without a breaker bar but uh, my just regular size 3 8 inch ratchet would not break that baby loose. I put everything I had on it and I weighed 250 pounds. But uh, so we're going to try a breaker bar right now that is about 18 inches long and I think that will probably do the job. And I just want to show you where this is located because one of the things when I was looking on, on um, I have to fix that too. <laughs> my, my clamp came loose on my rear exhaust. But, so that's the rear of the car. This is coming forward to the front of the car of the SUV. And so this is right about uh, mid rear door on the SUV is where you're going to find these two oxygen or NOx sensors. So uh, let me just set the camera down. Hopefully I can get a pretty good angle here. And I'll put my breaker bar on this. See if we can't break her loose. If I can get the breaker bar on there. What the heck? There she goes. Okay, let's see. Oh, that was too easy. Definitely, definitely you want to get a 18-inch uh, breaker bar. Because I had my short little, here I'll show you. My short little uh, regular one, which is about 8 inches long, uh, ratchet. And that just did not work. Look how easy that was. The right tool for the right job. So what we're going to do is just back this out. I'm not even taking off the rest of the center. There's a whole uh, electrical box that comes with the sensor. And I am just going to soak this right on, right on site. I just took an empty aluminum can and I cut it uh, in half. And then I got my handy dandy the uh, gallon bucket there we're gonna set this aluminum can up there so that the sensor can dangle in there what we're gonna put in inside of our half can is this right here Lucas injector cleaner that treats one tank up to 25 gallons of gasoline or diesel use every fill up it says so we're just going to dump this in here because this eats carbon. That's what it's made for. Uh, it goes into your injectors and eats out all the carbon, cleans out all the carbon in your whole engine. The fuel treatment would be perfect for this. And when I was doing my research, it said to let it soak in there six to eight hours. So rather than remove the whole oxygen sensor, the pan on the bottom of the Mercedes, because there's a whole like skid plate pan, and underneath that pan, you can get, wiggle your hands up there and pull loose the square box that goes to the oxygen sensor. So you could take a square box, a long wire, and the actual oxygen sensor you just saw me take out of the exhaust off. And then you can bring it out here and just, you know, put your oxygen sensor into the fluids. So I figure, why take all that other stuff off? It'd probably take me three times longer to take it all off, just loosen it, put a paint, a paint can so that the head of the sensor is down in our liquid and let it. Okay, so we're back underneath the GLK 250 diesel Mercedes 2015. 
and I just slid my gallon bucket underneath there and my half a soda can is um, is filled with the Lucas and we're just going to pick this up and carefully set that down into the fluid we don't want to get the wires into it we just want to get the uh, you know the sensor into it because that uh, that fuel cleaner is going to clean all the carbon that's in that sensor then we're going to take take our can of carburetor uh, cleaner and we're just going to blow in that injector we're, we're going to just use the carburetor cleaner to clean out there's little orifices all around the bottom that sucks in the air and senses it and tells the computer what to do with that so we're going to uh, just spray the carburetor cleaner in there, get all the carbon pieces out of there, let it dry thoroughly, and then reinstall it right in that hole right there. <laughs> okay, and again, this is the front of the car up here, up on the ramps. That's the exhaust. There's a cross member for the exhaust, and there is our NOx, NOx sensors right there, right after the cross member. Okay, so we're going to let this soak for eight hours, and then we're going to come out later today, and we're going to use the carburetor cleaner and the little red uh, tube that comes with it to clean out all of the uh, holes that are in the, uh, in the end of the oxygen sensor. The Knox filter has been uh, sitting overnight. I just let it sit overnight, so it's been at least uh, 10 hours soaking in the um, injector cleaner. And uh, so now we're going to take it out and uh, give her a clean. And don't throw out your injector cleaner, because if there's no carbon in the bottom of that can, you should just put it right into your vehicle, right into the gas tank. So don't throw that out. We're going to use that. And uh, so... Let's see, so we're going to uh, take this out, just clean it up with a cloth, and then start applying our carburetor cleaner to the small orifices and holes at the bottom of the NOx sensor uh, to clean the NOx sensor up. All right, so let's get rid of this uh, cut can and get this stuff out of here and start looking at the sensor. Okay, so there she is. Looks a lot better. All the carbon's off it. We're just drying it up a little bit. And uh, you can't really tell by looking at it, really, uh, if the carbon is out of the inside. But after sitting in carbon eating solution overnight, you would, you know, you have to really trust that the, uh, the Lucas does what it's engineered to do clean out carbon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's looking. I mean, the, you know, the outside's clean, anyways. So we're going to uh, just take uh, some of our carburetor cleaner and just spray in the orifice right, right there to get any remaining carbon out of there. So we're going to do that right now. Just sit tight and let's take a look-see. I just uh, threaded up the uh, the knock sensor and we put the special tool on there and we are now going to breaker bar it back on don't over tighten it but certainly snug at least <sighs> okay I think that will do it oh look at the tool came right off all right so that looks pretty good Alright, I have to fix my muffler back there, but 
I don't think I will need to, uh, to <laughs> videotape that for you guys. So I'm going to say that this is complete. We're going to take this out for a test run. Make sure that the uh, engine light goes off and uh, we'll videotape that. And then we'll call this job complete on the 2015 GLK 250 uh, diesel all-wheel drive Mercedes. And listen, we're doing everything we can for uh, get to a challenge of 1,000 subscribers by December 15th. We need your help. If you find these videos amazing, anything outdoors, do it yourself, all that, please subscribe because we'll keep on doing these types of videos. Primarily, we're just doing outdoor videos of every kind uh, for our farm, Miller Family Farm Trust channel. And so do-it-yourself repairs, four-wheel drive repairs, ATV side-by-sides, farming, grass-fed beef, pastured chicken, pastured poultry, pastured pigs, all that. So please, guys, it doesn't cost you anything. Just click subscribe and help us get to our challenge of 1,000. All right. All right. Well, here we are on the test drive with the... Um Knock sensor all cleaned out. We put the bolt on the uh, uh, on the exhaust for the clamp. Uh, the the bolt broke on the clamp, and uh, the the engine light has automatically just reset itself. So I haven't I haven't had it changed or reset. So that looks good. Uh, our mileage is going back up. I did reset the mileage, and it was down to about 23 miles a gallon city. And now it's up to almost 29 miles a gallon city. So those knock sensors really do like really reduce your gas mileage when they're out. I thought maybe it was just a sales gimmick <laughs> saying that you'll lose mileage and all that. But I really did. It was down to about 23 miles a gallon. And uh, now it's up to you know 20, 29 miles a gallon. So I think we got this kicked. I hope you find this. Uh, video completely useful when you're changing knock sensors on your Mercedes or any other vehicle or not changing but uh, cleaning and getting them to reset uh, and please by all means we're trying to get to we are going to get to 1,000 subscribers by December 15th here on the Miller Family Farm Trust channel uh, so please if you enjoy the content you like the uh, videos you found it useful hit the subscribe button you would do us a huge favor and become part of our family and if you hit the little bell button too it will um, notify you when we put up new videos and if you put the like that would be great one last thing comments are always useful well positive comments are always useful no trolling <laughs> So uh, if you have a comment or something to say that's useful for our uh, YouTube family, just leave it in the comment section down below. If you've uh, cleaned out knock sensors yourself, then leave that down there and, um, and click subscribe. Welcome to the family. Thank you.